Italian guys, welcome back to this series. I welcome you all with my love and respects and the blessings of my Guru, His Divine Holiness, Bhagwan Sri Nityananda Paramashivam. You guys might be aware of the name Vivekananda, a very famous enlightened being uh, of the past, not too far back, who, um, who impacted and helped Hinduism a lot. Uh, what I want to focus on is not necessarily on him or his life, but uh, his name, Viveka. Um, Viveka is the, the space of distinction, the space where you know what is powerfulness, what is powerlessness, and you, you, you can clearly cut between what is what. That space of um, extreme clarity, and that clarity allows you to make um, spontaneous decisions which are always aligned to the space of powerfulness. Swamiji being established uh, being an avatar of Paramashiva and established in the space of Paramashiva uh, constantly, he allows that clarity, that viveka, that quality to uh, manifest, to blossom within us. So by constantly contemplating on what Swamiji is sharing and the way he is handling himself and life, we allow that clarity to happen more and more within us and that quality uh, that guna of viveka will start to uh, radiate in our life and that quality is responsible for us to manifest what we want in life to always be powerful to always know what is the right way to respond to life and by right i mean the the way to constantly be powerful in front of whatever situation you face in life it is not that his life if we look at the life of vivekananda um, he had a very difficult life and Swamiji himself is going through so much religious persecution and uh, many, many things which are not helping him to grow as fast as he would normally grow if there were no um, external um, enmity uh, happening towards him. But even in front of all that, there's no signs of, there's no signs of powerlessness um, within him. And that is because he is established and he has, he radiates that space of Viveka, that space of ultimate powerfulness, Paramashivoham. And so that is why strengthening the relationship with Guru is very important, to allow that, um, that space to happen in you so that you can also enter in oneness in that space and operate from that space all the time. So that's a powerful cognition for today. I'll see you guys in the next episode. If you like, click the like button bell icon subscribe if you have any questions write them down i will answer them in further videos and uh, yes you damn them